There's an Amber Alert for a three-year-old little girl from San Antonio, Texas. She went missing on Monday, December 20th when she was at a playground at her apartment complex. She's still missing. Her name is Lena Sadar Kiel. She is described as four feet tall, 55 pounds with dark shoulder length hair that was in a ponytail when she disappeared. She was also wearing a red dress, black shoes, and a black jacket. Here's what happened. Lena was playing at the playground at her apartment complex, which has about 300 units or apartments. It's not a very big playground, and it was said that other kids and parents were playing at this playground. Lena's mother was said to briefly step away from the playground and from Lena, only to return and find that Lena was nowhere to be found. Authorities did not specify the amount of time that she was away from Lena. Here's what the authorities said. Somewhere between five and six o'clock, a little girl, three-year-old girl by the name of Lena, who happened to be wearing a black jacket, a red dress, and black shoes, was playing at the playground, being watched by her mother. Her mother left for, I'm not sure how long, uh, when she came back uh, a short time later, relatively short time later, um, the little girl was gone. She was missing. Uh, the family reported it to the police about 7.15 last night. By 7.15 p.m., the family reported her missing and police began the search right away. The FBI has joined the investigation. There was an Amber Alert issued and it's not clear if Lena was abducted or wandered off, but they're treating her as she was abducted. It's reported that Lena's family are among the Afghanistan refugees, and according to Lena's father, they arrived two years ago in the fall of 2019. Now, I did a little search on the sex offenders in the area, and it's quite alarming. As you can see on this map, all those marked are sex offenders are on the list. So right away, I mean, that's very con disconcerting. It's a good thing though that United States gets to take a peek at that. Here up in Canada, we have no clue who's living in our neighborhood. As for the search, officers are going door to door to each apartment, and as I said, there was 300 units. They are searching video, they're searching cars coming in and out of the complex, they are utilizing helicopters and searching dumpsters, and also recording license plates. The police said, we have every available asset in the police department working on the case right now. We are sparing no assets or resources. Officers are also trying to identify the people that were at the playground on Monday evening. The authorities also said, when it comes to the search for Lena, they said, this goes on for 24 hours a day, what we're doing right now, and we will continue this until hopefully we find Lena, but we are not stopping at the end of the shift. This will be continuous. And Lena's father also spoke out and there was a language barrier and apparently uh, the dialect of his language, which is Arabic, is not that common uh, in that dialect, so they had to have a translator and find an interpreter, but they did. And one of the things the father said was, during our entire lives, we have not been as saddened as we were yesterday and today. The reporter did ask her dad um, what was some things about Lena he'd like to share, and he broke down, and you could see on camera that uh, he was crouching on the ground. Lena's parents both believe that she's been abducted. Lena's father also said that he believed at first that Lena may have gone with another Afghan family, but now believes that she has been abducted. Now, the phone number to call if you have any information is 210-207-7660. I'll have that also in the description box below. And one of the things I do wanna just note is Lena doesn't look like a three-year-old in the picture. I've seen a lot of people commenting about that, and that's an important thing. If you see a little girl that maybe is not looking like three, but she's looking more like five, that could still be Lena. So don't discount that. Um, we have in our minds what a three-year-old should look like, and then some are taller and some are shorter. So Lena is 55 pounds. She's about four feet tall and she was last seen wearing a black jacket, a red dress, and black shoes, and she had her hair up in a ponytail. Her hair could be down. 
Let me know your thoughts below. It is different from what we saw. I just did a video on Michael Vaughn. He's five years old. He's been missing since July and no Amber Alert issued. Because he's in Idaho, they can't issue an Amber Alert unless it's a known abduction. Whereas in other states, you can issue an Amber Alert if it is um, a suspected abduction. So hopefully they can find Lena, they can find some information leading to it. I pray that it's not some of these weirdos around. Um, I don't know, maybe she wandered or something. Hard to tell at this point. If you take a look at the area she lived in and you zoom out, you can see that there's restaurants surrounding her, there's uh, some trees, uh, meaning like a little forested area surrounding her uh, complex. There's 300 units, there's so many here. And again, it's a Monday. So many of these cases all happen on a Monday. For some reason, this case reminded me a little bit of Faye Swetlick. She was a little girl who came home from school and then after school she vanished. Hopefully it's not the same ending. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please like and share this out if you can. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.